Folks, hello and welcome to week eight. Looks like we've got two weeks left to go here in our study of uh, integral calculus, and that will also finish us up uh, here on the course. So uh, we are in our second week of integral calculus, and we've got a nice application here, so let's take a look at that. It says engineers have proposed a single span suspension bridge across an eight kilometer wide straight. The plan includes suspension towers 300 and something uh, meters high at each end. So the C here is dependent upon the C in your calculus identification number. So I've got a couple props for you here this week to go along with the diagram that's in the discussion post. Uh, but so if, if you're not familiar with the suspension bridge, here's a good example. And it looks like it's single span. So we're only looking at the piece from, uh, from this end to this end. And it looks very much like the picture above. And this would be your eight kilometer wide straight that goes underneath the bridge. And so we're going to use the trapezoid approximation with four, uh, four segments to estimate the total length of cable, uh, in meters that is given by, uh, this definite integral. Now, how do we know that this is a definite versus an indefinite integral? You know, last week when we were talking about the uh, rate of change of volume in a certain tank, uh, there were no bounds, there were no, there was no lower or upper bound on the integration symbol. And here this week you see that, that we're integrating from zero, which is sort of the, the bottom, the, the minimum height point here on the, uh, on the graph. 2s is which it, or 2s sorry which is uh, the length of half of the span essentially so if we were to actually do this integration which would be uh, a tough one uh, at this point this would this would give us a numerical answer since we have uh, a definite integral here so again that's sort of the basic difference between a definite and an indefinite integral uh, let me just, uh, you know, in, in, as we start talking about integration, you know, we talk about, well, what is, what is integration? What does it give us? And we've talked a lot about area under the curve, and that's obviously a great application here. Let me just, uh, take a minute here to remind you what we're doing. What we're trying to estimate, obviously, is what we want to know is the total length of, uh, this, um, this cable that's going to run from one end to the other. Uh, the fact that um, we're only integrating from 0 to S means we have to double this answer. So there's no need to integrate from this point to this point. We can just do half and double it. And that's uh, obviously uh, one of the values of the symmetry here. Uh, but let me just make one other point here. What we're going to end up doing, uh, essentially, uh, using the trapezoid rules, is we're going to make an approximation uh, that sort of starts here and goes all the way up to the height here, where we're going to try to approximate uh, you know, from X0 to X1, the length of this arc, and from X1 to X2, the length of this arc, X2, X3, the length of this arc, and same thing, same thing for X3 and X4. So if, if we were to take a trapezoid and lay it in here, you know, what we would be estimating, uh, or what we would be calculating is this length, which, you know, over a certain interval here, uh, sort of approximates or sort of looks like, but there's a little more curve in here, obviously, than you see. And the square root here, uh, if you sort of think about this in terms of the Pythagorean theorem, that's essentially what's happening here is, uh, this square root, uh, sort of aligns with the fact that we're trying to estimate these values. And if we were to shorten them up and shorten them up, meaning that the, um, the size of the interval from X0 to X1 gets really, really small. And that's what you're doing in differentiation here. You would get a an exact value uh, for the length uh, of the uh, cable from uh, sort of the bottom here. And we're looking at sort of the minimum the minimum height here, all the way to uh, one of the towers. So that's essentially what's going on in the math here. I I, I don't know if that's uh, helpful or not, but I thought I would explain that because really here we're not talking about area. We're just trying to add up little increments. Uh, of trapezoid, uh, again, sort of a hypotenuse here on a trapezoid to align them with pieces of the string here or the cable here, uh, to give us an approximation. So, uh, again, that, uh, that sort of, sort of sets it up here and let's, let's kind of get to it. So, uh, let's see, round, intermediate, and final answers to the nearest, uh, ten thousands. So we know how to do that. Uh, now, um, I think what will be helpful here is, uh, given the fact that your value 
uh, of C um, or the value of, of, of this, uh, this cable height here is in meters. Let's, sure that, let's make sure that we're working in meters here. I know we're talking about an eight kilometer wide straight, but I think it's probably best that uh, we work in, uh, in meters, meaning that uh, from this tower to this tower, instead of eight kilometers, we would be talking about 8,000 meters, or obviously the half of it here, we would be going so from zero meters to uh, 4,000 meters. So let's just keep that as, in mind as we go forward. Uh, let's see. So uh, S here, again, S is the span or the length of span of half of the bridge. So uh, S, um, the total, the total, the total span here is eight kilometers. The height H is the height of the suspension tower in meters and X uh, will be the increments of distance. Uh, and I note here, the key component of your trapezoid approximation is the fact that you're using four, uh, you're using four integrals here. So again, from X zero to X one, X one to X two, X two to X three and X three to X four. So those are your four, those are your four uh, integrals here. Your n is equal to four. Now in section 25.5, you have a uh, an explanation. I, I'm not going to type it out here for you, but you have the trapezoid approximation in uh, in section 25.5. The only thing that I want to uh, point out here uh, in that equation, it's asking for values of y zero, y one, y two, y three, y four, so on and so forth. Those are going to come from subbing the values of x0. And I say, when I talk about x0, x1, your x0 will be 0, your x1 will be 1,000, your x2 will be 2,000, 3,000, and 4,000, and so on and so forth, as we just discussed. And that's how you're going to come up with your approximations, again, by subbing those values uh, here for, for x in computing, essentially, this piece right here, the square root or what's in the radicand, the square root of the radicand. Okay, so on and so forth. Uh, and then I say here, after computing the approximation, don't forget to double your answer to count for the portion to the left of x0. Uh, again, I should say the total s here, the total s here is uh, 8 kilometers or 8,000 meters. Uh, one of the spans here that you're calculating is half of that. So just double whatever you get in your final answer here from the uh, from the trapezoid rule, you're just going to double that, and that will give you the entire the entire length of the cable from one tower to the other. So this is a this is actually a fun drill, uh, and I I, I kind of chuckled as I looked at this because I think back to my own days in calculus two, a lot a lot of years ago, and uh, this is really the way that you learn, or this is how you uh, I, I think this is the best way to get an appreciation for what you're doing in integration and then you find the value of you know what integration does for you uh, versus adding up a bunch of uh, you know whether it be rectangles or trapezoids as we're doing here uh, to make an estimation for what an integral to, can do for you so it's a very very powerful tool uh, as you start learning more about integration so this will be a, this will be a fun thing uh, again it's just I hope this is helpful in terms of making it clear on uh, what the substitutions are. Uh, as we always uh, close our discussion post here, uh, 25 points uh, to make sure that uh, your best effort uh, on the first post. If anything is unclear, I will make that known to you, uh, and you can go ahead and brush up, uh, brush up your initial post, and then finally make sure everything looks uh, nice and neat and presentable using an equation editor. So again, I hope this is helpful. Uh, again, this is a, a really good drill for you to uh, learn what's happening. Uh, number one, when you when you do integrate something, what does that mean? What does you know? What does it tell you? That's obviously important when we leave here in a couple of weeks. And then uh, you know the approximation that you can do here and uh, the value of it. So again, uh, two weeks ago, I hope this is helpful. If there are any questions, let me know. And have a great week, and I'm looking forward, uh, or I look forward to seeing a lot of great work on the discussion board.